The photoelectric effect conducted by Albert Einstein had three key observations which showed that our classical wave theory was incomplete. Wave theory is wrong. And the first of these observations was that there was a threshold frequency. And so what this is actually is that we know that this radiation has some frequency f, but there was some minimum frequency called the threshold frequency f0 below which no photo emission would occur. And so if f was less than f0, there was no photo emission. This was a very curious observation, but why this happened was because your electrons are all below the surface of the metal. And so they required some energy to reach the surface. And this energy is what we are going to call the work function, which we will denote as phi. Note that the electrons are at varying depths below this metal surface. And so this energy required to reach the surface varies from electron to electron. But the work function only focuses on the one closest to the surface. And so it was only the case where if f was greater than the work function, that this photo emission would occur. So this electron would then be able to reach the surface and then come out. And so this also led to the photoelectric equation that says that the energy of a photon hf must equal to the work function. And then this will have some minimum ke, sorry, maximum ke, right, which this electron would possess when it came out of the metal. So let us now understand why this observation shows that wave theory is incorrect. Well, first of all, wave theory says that there is no relationship between energy and frequency. But here, it was seen that frequency was the sole thing that decided whether or not you would emit or not. So clearly, it shows there is some relationship between energy and frequency, which of course we know is E equals to HF now. But the second and more subtle thing is that no matter how long you illuminated the zinc with frequencies below the threshold frequency, there would be no photo emission. Now, wave theory believed in energy accumulation. And so, even if your photon had a very low frequency, the theory that wave theory predicts, or what wave theory predicts, is that eventually your electrons would accumulate enough energy to come out, but this never happened. And so what indeed happened was that the interaction between a photon and an electron was one-to-one. -one. And so an, a photon would come in, and if it did not have enough energy to allow the electron to reach the surface, it would then never get absorbed. And so this could then go on forever, a, a very long time, and that is why you would never see any photo emission. Right? And so again, it shows that there is no energy accumulation, but in fact, gives foundation or gives evidence that energy is transferred discreetly, photon by photon, allowing electrons to reject these photons one by one. And so these are the two reasons that wave theory is wrong, right? It shows that energy accumulation doesn't occur, and energy has indeed a relation to frequency. Let's have a very quick look at the photoelectric equation one more time. Okay, so the energy of a photon provides the energy required for an electron to come out. And of course, the remainder of that energy goes into the kinetic energy of the electron that is emitted.